I've noticed recently that some Linux distributions, such as MX Linux for example, have a feature that when you plug in a game controller or a joystick, by default it starts controlling your mouse cursor. Which is an awesome feature if you're looking to do this. And there's a few different ways to do this. But it's a little annoying if you don't want this to happen. So I'm going to show you today what's probably happening on most of these distri distributions, why it's happening, and a quick way to just stop it from happening. And in a future video, I'll go over better options on how you can program the controller to do that quick and easy so you can set up how you want. So let's go ahead and have a look at this. So if you are on a Linux distribution that does have this feature and you do not want it, the package that is probably the culprit is xserver xorg input joystick. If you use the package, use whatever package manager you use, but if you're using aptitude, aptitude search for that package, and it will show that package, and if it's installed, this P will be an I. I do not currently have it installed, but if this is an I, that means it is installed. Now, you could go into your X or configuration file and disable it or change how it works, but if you're not wanting this feature and you just want to get rid of it, the easiest way to do this is probably just sudo aptitude remove and that package, and again, whatever package manager you use. Once you do that, you'll probably have to restart xorg or just restart your machine, uh, and that will take effect. And if you don't want that feature, it should be removed. Now again, there are other ways to do this, and I'm gonna go over them, because in the future you might want that feature, uh, that functionality, be able to program the joystick to control the mouse and the buttons to be button presses on the keyboard, and there are multiple ways to do this. I'm gonna show you some options that I like. Um, but yeah, watch out for that video in the future. But if you were having this uh, issue and you wanted to get rid of it, I hope you found this useful. Please visit filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description to my website. There you can go to the support section. You can support me through Patreon, PayPal, LibrePay, even though I don't think anyone's ever supported me through LibrePay. And I do appreciate that. If you can't support financially, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. I thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.